Hey everyone, how are you all doing? This is Spike here, and today is a pretty special video. It is the release of my app, my Mario Kart Tour app. So as you know, well, most of you probably don't know because it was pretty bad, but I released my first demo version of my app a month ago. Um, it was pretty buggy and stuff, uh, but I'm going to pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Because this new version here is, it may as well just be a completely different app to be honest. Um, all of the functionality that was in the first one is pretty much gone now. That will be added back in later on, I just haven't had time to add it in yet. Um, and it's been replaced with a functional tracker where you can input your own values and it will give you back um, who's the best to invest in, who's the best at the moment and all of that. Uh, pretty similar to BAMS Tracker, but it's just my version. Um, this is only for Windows at the moment. So, uh, I'm also trying to get on Mac. I've been trying to do that all week, actually, with no luck. But I'm still working on it and trying my hardest to get on Mac. Um, I was hoping I'd be able to get on there before release, but... Uh, it's just not going too well, but I think I'm getting a bit closer, so hopefully it will be out in like a week or maybe a few days for Mac. Uh, we'll have to see. I don't have any plans really at the moment to get on stuff like Android and iOS, but I'll see about that. That will be late, much later on if I do. Um, so when you download this, if you do, I really appreciate that, thanks very much. Um, but if you download this you would get this folder here and you can pretty much ignore all this stuff at the moment the only thing we're going to be focusing on is this spikesmkt.exe file uh, you're going to open that and it's going to open up the app um, got loading and you just got to be patient and wait for it to load it takes a little while um, but I got some recommendations last time to add windowed mode functionality so that's what I did all you have to do is press alt enter and it enters windowed mode you can of course scale the window size and stuff yeah if you want it that small you can but I don't see why you would want to but you can um, I actually love windowed mode to be honest I prefer it over full screen but for now I'm gonna stay in full screen mode just so you don't see anything else in the background and all that um, yeah it takes a little while to load I've not been able to have time to fully optimize it at the moment is it's pretty good but it definitely could be better in terms of um, optimization so that's going to be improved in future updates you can't really expect the very first version to be fully optimized and fully free of bugs and all that it's going to be improved over time and i'm going to be adding more functionality and customization and stuff over time as well so, here is the main screen, the input screen. Uh, this is where you're going to be able to input your own driver, cart, and gliders. Uh, the values for them, like the level and the cap. So, that's what I've already done actually here with all the drivers. That's where you see them filled in. Where see that level 6, that baby Luigi at level 7. Um, baby Mario is actually meant to be at number 1. Uh, I guess I accidentally changed him. But um, yeah, you could just simply change the levels and the caps like that, however you want. Well, depends on your loadout, really. But yeah, um, pretty easy. He's at level 6, I've got to remember that. <laughs> uh, you've got also the details off to the right here. I can't really hover my mouse over it because it disappears. It depends what your, what your mouse cursor is over at the moment. Oh my god, that just makes me think. Am I even showing my mouse? BRB, I need to have a look. Okay, I was showing this, that's good. Otherwise, I'd have to <laughs> restart. Um, but, yeah. So, you can see the details over there to the right. You can see, like, the level and the cap in the sort of Mario Kart Tour UI format. Uh, you can also see current rank. So, that's where they currently rank. So, Shy Guy is the 56th best out of 127 drivers. It's not exactly that good, to be honest. Because I'm pretty sure half of these drivers are actually at zero points. So we'll be able to see that in a in a bit in one of the other panels. Um, so yeah, so you can input your own stuff here, of course. Like I've already done. The background color there represents 
um, the level they are, not how good they are necessarily, but just whether they're level 1, level 2, level 3, etc. Um, for more customization down here, obviously I haven't done it yet. Um, that will probably be in the next update, hopefully, but there will be stuff like being able to input how much ranked maps are worth, how, uh, depend on how often they appear in ranked and stuff, and what values overall you're given certain maps, like city tracks and stuff, but I don't see why anyone would ever want them worth more than zero points. <laughs> But yeah, you'll be able to adjust that yourself later, but at the moment you're just using my values for that. Which are pretty good values, I'd say. Um, these little buttons up here, you can use that to switch between, between driver cart or glider. So let's go to carts, which is going to load, and then there's all the carts. And then gliders. I, they're all at level 0 at the moment. I did fill them all in, but... They corrupted. I will tell you about that at the end of the video and what to do about that. Um, but it doesn't happen often, don't worry. Um, let's go back to drivers. Also, I'd say that, um, well, they do, they update, they save automatically. So if, say, I put Baby Daisy here on level 5 and I quit the app and go back into it, she's level 5 now. She's not going to be back at level 6. So it saves every time you just adjust one of these. Um, let's go to the stats panel now and have a look at that. This is pretty cool. This shows you basically your rankings. Um, so here are my top 10 best high ends at the moment. Pretty cool. I mean most of my high level, most of my coin box. You of course got Pirate Boy, Triple Captain level 7 here. What a surprise. Um, you got Black Birdo here already taking a ninth spot. And she's at level 1, so that's pretty funny. I mean, it's not a surprise of how OP she is. Um, greatest potential. So that basically means um, how likely drivers are to move up in your rankings by leveling them up. So, for example, if I invest in gold dry bones, he's probably going to go up a lot in the rankings. And stuff like Nabbit, I mean, that's not a surprise at all. Uh, most of my coin boxes as well, of course. Um, ones like PGP and Pirate Boy aren't going to appear because they're already very high level. So obviously, leveling PGP up to level 7 is going to do like literally nothing. So that's why she's not here. Um, that's basically what greatest potential is then. Got the top 5 best supers and normals, of course. T uh, top 10 best unowned high ends, there's none. There's literally none. And no, that's not a bug. It's because I literally have zero high ends unowned that will give me coverage. I have full coverage for every map at the moment. I don't need anyone else. So that's why there's none here. Um, and that's also the same. That can also happen with these guys as well. All of these. So if, say, for example, you've only got four normals here shown instead of five... That's not because I can't count, but because um, you've only got four normals that actually give you coverage at the moment. All the rest are completely useless, zero points, um, no value at all. So yeah, if you if you don't have like five or ten or whatever, that's why. Um, then best unknown high ends with greatest potential again, just like this one, but it's unowned versions so these are the high ends these are the unowned drivers that will help me out the most by leveling them up um also i'll mention with these uh this this is only for level one so basically every single unowned high end it looks through and it says does it give you coverage at level one just by unlocking it if it doesn't then yeah no results found so that's why um, then of course you've just got your full list of rankings here. I'm not going to go through all of these obviously. You can have a look at that yourself if you're interested in anyone. And then you can switch to the potential version as well. There we go. Now let's take a look at Analyze. I love the Analyze panel. Um, so let's remember some of these guys like Nabbit for example. We'll take a look at Nabbit. Um, 
you. By default, it's just going to pick you around characters. That's why Cooper's showing up here. Let's ignore this for now. <laughs> I was hoping it would you know, give me a high end or something just so I could show you, but let's go down to Nabbit. You can actually type in here instead of having to scroll all the way down. So let's select Nabbit. Now this is going to show you his unlockable maps. So at level 3 he's going to unlock Chocker Island 1T, level 5 Chocker Island 2, level 6, all of these, that's a lot of maps. Um, <clears throat> item nerfs now though, this is the part I love. So what this shows is, for example, if we get him, up, get him to level 3 on Choco Island 1T, as we can see here, that's gonna make that's gonna um, take down Gold Dry Bowser. So he's already the best on that course. Gold Dry Bowser is, but if we level Nabbit up to three, Gold Dry Bowser is not gonna be there anymore. He's not gonna be the best option. So that's gonna nerf him. Same thing with Party Time Lakitu here on Rosemere's Ice World. Um, <clears throat> got a C track here. That's that's actually a bug. That's not meant to be there, to be honest, but. I'm gonna have to keep it there for now because I've already built all this and stuff. That's gonna have to be taken out on the next one. Um, I guess it's good to at least, you know, know. No, that's good. Um, level 5, we're gonna get rid of Wendy. Level 6, Tyrone and Peachette, etc, etc. Like, this guy getting him up is gonna take a lot of value, as you can see here, from Gold King bob -omb and Ninja Shy Guy. I mean, it won't for most people, because most people are already going to have Gold King Bob -Omb on like level 6 or 7, so yeah. Let's take a look at someone else. Like, um, maybe a low level super like Birdo or something. So she won't gain much, just these two, and then she'll nerf all these guys. Poor Morton, who would want to nerf Morton? He's so good. And of course, if we go to someone like Bow Pirate Bowser Jr., who's level 7 at the moment, it's just going to appear like this. I'll, I'll make this look a bit better later on, like say non or something, but of course, as he's level 7 and you literally can't increase him, uh, he doesn't have any unlockable maps now or any item nerfs. Probably the same with Pink Gold Peach, who's level 6. Yeah, nothing. You can, of course, switch between carts and gliders as well. So let's say, um, let's think of some car. I can't even think of one at the moment, to be honest. Wild Wing, sure. Level 1 at the moment, so. For a level 1 cart, man, that's really not good. <laughs> Only 6 maps, and they're all uh, high level, you know, level 5, level 6. So yeah, this guy's not going to give me coverage until level 5, which is pretty bad. Definitely better options for that. Uh, so yeah, still showing city tracks here. Sorry about that. I literally didn't notice this um, But it's not a massive deal. So that's good uh, Gliders as well, but Obviously, I don't have them at the moment. Oh, yeah, carrot cart. What a meme <laughs> Even the carrot cart's nearly beaten the wild wing well um, So now let's move on to the inspect panel so what this shows you is a list of the maps for a for one of the items and how many points they get on them. So right now we can see here that all of these are zero, so Carrot Cart is useless on all of them except RMX Ghost Valley 1T. Did it get buffed on that? I didn't even notice. Maybe it did actually. I don't remember if I noticed or not now, but yeah. Hey, it actually got buffed! I'm only just realising it through my app. But yeah, currently it's the best on that guy. Um, if we take someone like Pirate Boy though, um, we've got to switch to Driver first. He is currently the best on every single map. Uh, the reason the City Tracks show zero is because they're not worth anything in my algorithm at the moment. As they should be, they shouldn't be worth anything. Um, so that's why they're zero. So of course he's going to be the best on all of these maps. Let's take someone that I don't have owned, like Penguin Luigi. He's pretty good, but is he good for me? Is the question. All of these maps he's currently not good on. Oh wait, I'm an idiot. <laughs> of course he's not going to be good on any of them because he's locked. He's not the best choice on all of them. We already saw in stats that 
uh, not a single driver unlocks the um, unlocks value, getting him to level one. Um, we can also just look at maps themselves. So if we want to look at Airship Fortress, for example, we can see all these here, levels two, cap zero, and we can see who's currently the best. So Pyro Boy here is the best on this one. Let's take something like uh, Cheap Cheap Lagoon. Currently, Rosalina is my best option out of all these guys. Or maybe this one, Dino Dino Jungle. Donkey Kong is the best. Donkey, Donkey. Um, but yeah, I'm also going to be adding some more like values down here, some more UI. I just haven't had time to do that yet. So yeah, that's pretty much the app. I really hope you all like this and give it a, if give it a go because honestly, I'm absolutely loving this at the moment. It's really useful to know like exactly the full coverage of a driver like Santa Bowser, for example. He's adding all of these maps to me, so he'd be someone that's really good to in um, get up and unlock. Uh, and then, but I've got to also look at all of these to see if he's nerfing some of my favorite characters like Python Lakitu, I love him, but so I don't really want to level up Santa Bowser because otherwise it's going to take value away from him. Um, so yeah, that's what this is really useful at looking for. So let's exit the app view and just use this button up here. I think I've shown everything now. I'm going to be kind of annoyed if I exit and then realize it's something else. But I think that's it. Now I'm going to talk about the file system a little bit. And there's not really much you need to know here, except it's probably for the best that you back up your own driver cart and glider data while you um, when, once you've inputted it. You don't have to often, but like as I mentioned with the gliders, um, they corrupted. I don't know why. I haven't found out why that is. But it's very rare for it to happen, it's only happened twice so far in all of the times that I've ran this app, which is a lot. Um, so if you want to back up it, all you have to do is go to your data, tracker, and select driver data, cart data, and glider data. And then just copy and paste them, that will back them up. Um, you can see I've already done that. And if it turns out they have corrupted, literally just delete these ones, drive data, whatever, get drive data copy or whatever your backup is, and then just rename it to drive data. So it's pretty simple stuff, really. Um, as for uh, everything else, so in terms of when a new update for the app comes out, which will probably be at the start of every tour, all you'll do is grab your data folder, copy that from your old version of the app, and simply just paste it in the new version. That's it, pretty much. But you don't need to know that at the moment, because there aren't any updates at the moment. I'll let you know details on that um, for the next version, which will be out probably at the start of the next tour. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed looking at this, I really hope some of you give this a go. I've really been working like crazy on this app all day every day and I think it's turned out really good honestly. I'm, I, I'll admit I'm pretty proud of it. Um, so also, show me your results, I'm really interested in seeing them, I'd love to see them. So thanks for watching and see you later.